Hi, I'm John Holden. Welcome to Earth. Our next story takes us here to Houston, Texas. You know, when I think of Houston, I picture this iconic skyline representing its vibrant corporate culture. In fact, 26 Fortune 500 companies are headquartered here, making it the third largest behind New York and Chicago. One necessity of doing any kind of business these days is, of course, electronics. Computers, cell phones, printers, everyone depends on this equipment. And there's no end to new technologies that make companies even more efficient and profitable. But when a business needs to upgrade, what happens to the old electronics? All too often, they're piled into landfills where they cause pollution in our communities. And that's a shame because many components can be profitably recycled. Today, the biggest problem we have is the equipment going into uh, landfills. According to the uh, EPA, we have about 2.4 million tons every year, and that only leaves about 25% actually going to be recycled. As you see this equipment here behind me, uh, that we can actually process and refurbish and put into the market. It's clear that recycling electronics represents its best end-of-life scenario. It conserves valuable resources, cuts down on greenhouse gas emissions, and reduces air and water pollution. Rice University here in Houston is especially concerned about why finding a recycling solution for its massive quantity of data equipment is so important for sustainability commitments. Data and the, and the security of data is very important to a university. Um, next door we have our library service center where um, uh, analog data is kept like books and models and things like that. But here we keep all the digital artifacts of Rice. The value of our hardware that, that we use um, keeps this university running, um, keeps us on the forefront of science, keeps us on the forefront of research. But at some point the life of that hardware ends and so uh, we need to have a program to migrate that hardware out, migrate new hardware in. We utilize a e-waste program to do that. The recycling of hardware is very important to us. We do not want to see it end up in a landfill. Now, of course, there is important considerations when hiring an electronics recycling company. For instance, how are materials being removed? Uh, what's the landfill policy? And especially, is data being removed from any device turned in? One such company that specializes in this is Rocky Computer Recycling here in Houston. Its chief operations officer, Amit Bahor, says that recycling provides an extremely energy efficient way to create new electronic equipment. It's incredibly important these days. There are companies that have a need for this service uh, on a nationwide scale. Everybody uses electronics, whether it be computers, laptops, cell phones. These things have an end of life and they have to be recycled in a proper way so they don't end up in some landfill in some overseas country. So how do you go from a hard drive like this to a piece of scrap metal like this containing pretty valuable metals by using a shredder that Rocky likes to call the beast. So the beast is our uh, shredder. This is basically all hard drives coming from our clients that are all designated for final destruction meaning complete shredding of it. We want to try to do about 600 to 1000 hard drives daily. These drives contain a lot of um, uh, information on them that are coming from our clients, so destroying them is, is crucial to our clients' uh, uh, privacy and data. Once they reach the end of life cycle, we're going to destroy them right here, but then they will begin a new life cycle once they are sent off for refining for the recovery of precious metals. How valuable is this scrap? It's not quite valuable yet, but once it goes through the next phase, we're going to be recovering precious metals from here. So precious metals such as gold, platinum, uh, copper are valuable. So that's the next phase of the life cycle here. Of course, when somebody gives up their computer, the, the data on it is uh, something they're worried about. What do you do about that? Absolutely. That's the number one concern of our clients. So right here, it's going through the data sedentization process. So as you can see, all of these drives are being wiped at the moment. 
You can see each screen with its percentage level, where it's currently at in the cycle. And then ultimately, these are being prepared for refurbishment and resell. So this will go out into the open market, people will buy it, and this could last for another five, six years. You know, as I stand here and look around at these beautiful modern buildings in downtown Houston, I can't help thinking how gratifying it is knowing that all the new technology that's in these buildings can be repurposed and recycled to create new technology instead of more landfill pollution. I'm John Holden. Thanks for watching.